Guaranteed to flee. A fourteen, a seven, a nine, and lychees. This is our last show before we go on tour. The audience knows that. This audience here in LA is not going to see us for about 30 days. Uh, so Give or they, take. They've, they've shown up in droves. Well, Greg's going to Nice. No, what, no matter where yeah. he is, he's always moving. I'm really quite yeah. nervous about doing the show sober. I, I, I really am. Address that. I, th I, th I, th I mean, because I'm, I'm not a craftsman on stage. I am a more of a uh, rodeo <laughs> clown. And uh, my, what's for sale with me that has nothing to do with discipline, but everything to do with lowered inhibition. Ladies and gentlemen, Harmontown is once again in session. We got a goodie for you tonight, everybody. Won't you please welcome the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. Yo, 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 yo. Grandmaster, grandmaster, master of rap. Grandmaster, not gonna rap about dicks or ass, sir. Gonna rap about real things. Sophisticated rap, real things. Not ding a lings. Rap, 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 rap. Not gonna rap about dicks or balls. Not gonna rhyme it with Niagara Falls. Not gonna rap about butts and nuts. Not gonna do it, but it's hard. I'm, I'm, just give me a second. Right, now, Dan, Dan, Dan that, that really wasn't fair to you. Give me a First of all, welcome everybody to Nerd Melts. Welcome one and all. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. Uh, Dan, that wasn't really fair because that was, I was just trying out our new theme song for the, for the tour. All right. That's our new, we're, we're doing all unlicensed uh, music. It's all, uh, it's all our own music. Yeah. Yeah, so if you, do, you, do you want to start off with a, with a proper rap beat? Because I, I have a selection of three <laughs> unlicensed totally our own rap beats. <laughs> and I feel that it's only fair to the audience, uh, for the audience to know that this is the first Harmontown where you are not drinking. That's true too. You can probably already tell. Yeah. Listen, if it, if it goes I will, I will clear this theater. <laughs> if it goes poorly, I'll bail, but the, the, I, I'm, I'm, I'm this cleanse with uh, Aaron. Uh, she's my girlfriend, I love her. I do things out of support for her, and also, if, if she's not eating, I won't be fed anyway. Uh, so she's, she's doing this four-day cleanse where we drink these green, gooey things, and, uh, and you, you don't drink liquor on them, so... Uh, <clears throat> If the show starts going poorly, I, I, I promise I'll just collapse into the <laughs> bottle. But I wanted to see for the sake of science. <clears throat> more, more importantly, speaking of science, I just want to... Let's give, give me one of these beats. I want to I wanna be a, a good rapper, a All sophisticated right. rapper. Uh, Dan, uh, you've probably not heard these. I have, I have three selections from our new musical director, Ryan Elder, who I yes. believe is in the house tonight. Uh, Ryan uh, Elder. Yeah. We're making a documentary here, and we can't, you know, we can't use Xanadu and some of our favorites because we can't afford it. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, you people are easy to disappoint tonight. <laughs> a, like, Dan, a, Dan. My, my, my physical health and 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 our lack of copyright infringement really has you on a tear. <laughs> you poor fucking babies. Dan. Dan. Have a drink. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you have three choices, right, Dan. Two, two more outbursts like that, and I'll have a drink. <laughs> Dan, these, these are your three rap beat choices. You have sexy slow, you have freestyle, and you have aggressive. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very... So you, are, you, are you LL Cool J, I Need Love? Are you uh, freestyle? No. Are, you, are you Eminem in it right now? Or let's, are you, let's are, do are you Beastie Boys in it? Right let's now? do aggressive. You're going to go for aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The audience has spoken. Let's see what we got. All right, clear your head, clear your head. No dicks, no balls. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. Yo, yo. I rock the microphone. My name is Dan Harmon. Some people might try to tell you others aren't your butch Harmon. God damn it, I fucking suck. I wanna, I wanna to get your mom to fuck me. I wanna suck her titties and fuck her pussy so hot. I wanna fuck your mama outside the front yard. I wanna put my dick inside her for God, God damn it. I, now stop it. We're not gonna reward me for I don't I, I can't take it anymore. We're going we're going on this tour, Jeff. 
we're we're representing Los Angeles out there. There's there's yes. 20 cities waiting for us. Like I'm not gonna roll into Austin talking about dicks and balls and, and butts. I, I want to. I want to. I want to. I want. I want to write good music. I want to. I want to. I want to be a good singer and songwriter. Well, I, I don't think people come to Hartmantown because you're a craftsman uh, when it when, <laughs> when it comes to rapping. I think they like the uh, they like the free for all that it is. It well, becomes very adolescent and puerile. Well, and... let's do it this way. Is there? Is there? We got a big crowd tonight. Are there any, like, like, like professional, like. Like like singer songwriters that like 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 possibly like, uh, Cambridge uh, Cambridge educated Cambridge edu- we'll take Oxford but is anyone does anyone Cambridge educated is anybody here that can te- it's a, a tutorial for Dan oh. Oh. Eric Idol Eric Idol oh. thank you for coming. Thank God. I am so sorry for, for, for what I've done, but this is very fortuitous, Eric. Thank you for yeah. showing up. Eric Idle, uh, com- comedic and gay icon. Eric Idle is here. Yes, yes, it's, it's Jeff Davis, our comptroller. Eric, I'm so glad you're here. You're obviously you're world renowned for your for your for your craftsmanship in comedy songwriting. There's 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 people in this audience that probably have every single one of your songs memorized. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, I, I I I just uh, I, I I have a problem where I I try I like to write songs and I like to improvise them, but I I. I I lose control and I go to a shitty, non-sophisticated place. You're a her- hero of mine, a mentor of mine. Can you please help me? Can you please tell me how to? What would you do if you were going to write a perfect song? Hmm. Well, it's a very interesting question. Actually. You want to write the perfect song? Yeah. Then ask yourself, what's true? Oh. Then open your heart, and the truth will start to write the song. You. Jesus, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> when I first fucked Dan's mother, what? <laughs> she asked me for another, but her pussy was too wide. And then I fucked his father, and now saw both his nuts. Eric. I juggled his tits and took two shits and put it in their butts. <laughs> Marmot Town, is on the ground, taking bonus by the pound. Down in Harmon Town, oh, Harmon Town, Harmon Town, the Harmon's mom is on the ground, taking bonus by the pound. Down in Harmon Town. Now, Eric, I have a question. Yes, sir. What would you rather do? Fuck Dan's mother in the butt or make her eat your poo? I've asked myself this many times. And here is my reply. I feed her my poo and fuck her butt too and bid her a fond goodbye. Oh. Oh. You guys are only doing what I've been doing all along. I've fucked a million mamas already. I wanted a perfect song. So open up your heart, my friend, and tell me what you see. Both your mothers sucking dicks and drinking all my pee. Oh, Harmontown, Harmontown, Harmon's mom is on the ground, fucking bonus by the pound. Down in Harmontown, everybody! Oh, Harmontown, Harmontown, Harmon's mom is on the ground, taking bonus by the pound. Down in See, Dan, you just have to open your mind and let it all come out. All right, I think I understand. I mean, sometimes in all of our lives, there comes a crisis when 
all you really need to set yourself right is for Eric Idle to come out and, <laughs> and remind you that sing about nuzzling your father's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, fine. Well, uh, why don't we keep the... Uh, since I'm sober and I'm no entertainment myself, and since we are going on the road, why don't we keep the mentorship going? You know, see if we can keep getting advice and guidance from people. Well, but, 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 I want to ask you a question before you do that. Um, yeah. just, just while we have the opportunity, uh, we're going out... You just turned 40. Yeah. Your 40th birthday was a few days ago. Yeah. Um, and we're going out on this big tour, which is uh, very ambitious. It's a very long, grueling schedule. What do you hope to accomplish by this? Like, is there is there a goal for you uh, in terms of like what you want uh, to come home with? What do you want to return with? What's what's the uh, what's the golden fleece that you expect to get from this? Well, I mean, I I have a couple of different goals because I, I, I don't you know I'm not a big planner. I I, I want to and, and 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 obviously the show is not like w you know written and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, that's comp trolling. <laughs> Strike on the mu music stand. <laughs> Don't fight me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. On the tour bus, I get real rapey. <laughs> uh, I'll have to bring some of that cassette head cleaner that the people use. Did you know that? Uh, oh, like, yeah, like, that yeah. that's a underground the amyl nitrate kind of stuff. Well, no, it's like cassette head cleaner. If you the fluid, if you if you huff it, it dilates your anus. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry, Tron. Uh, this copy's gonna have to keep uh, <laughs> not being playable. Uh, Daddy's going out tonight. Uh, I I want to drink so bad. <laughs> this is uh, this is what it, what it, what what sobriety feels like. It's like it feels like everyone else is drunk. Uh, the uh, 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 I think I think what. One thing that I would like to accomplish is, uh, is, 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 is I would like to learn how to love people because my, my, my girlfriend wrote this book. Uh, or, she didn't write it. <laughs> uh, I think, but this is a whole track of conversation that I wanted to talk to everybody about tonight, but I, I don't want to delay our, our next guest. He, 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 he's, he's got an out. I think we should bring him up and talk to him about touring. Uh, please welcome to the stage... Pat Oswalt! Yeah! Goodness. Uh, yeah, uh, this, is, uh, this is exactly the way that I did it on Comedians of Comedy. Had a uh, massive comedy legend walk out, do a song for free. <laughs> you know, we had a... I think we had Steve Martin in Birmingham one night. And uh, uh, <laughs> Nichols and May came out uh, one evening. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty, you know... That's a, that's a reunion for them. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I just, I just Facebooked them. And they like, yeah, yeah, we'll come down, no problem. Yeah, I found Eric on Craigslist. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't, you, you can do, because when I do Python searches, I find way different stuff. I'm just saying. <laughs> type in Python. Um, uh, you, you, so, you, you, what, you, describe to me the tour. What are you doing? Uh, don't know. Help me help you. <laughs> we're, start, we're, we're leaving on the 10th uh, at 10 a.m., as far as I know. 8 a.m. Okay. <laughs> Um, you, for, okay, just let me stop right there. Try to coordinate the uh, day and time. Have them be the same number. Already, this is it's already really working. Good luck. Yeah, I'm already glad we got this guy down okay, here. Okay, good. Uh, heading from Los Angeles to Phoenix, where we're going to do a show for God knows how many people are actually going to show up. You're going. I'm sorry. You're starting the tour. Your first show is going to be in Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> so you're. So basically, you are. This is. This is the. That's the equivalent of. All right. I know. That there is there's some there's some chocolate mousse down the road, but we're gonna have cold green beans <laughs> right now to really make that a treat when it shows up. Wait, wait, Patton, what what, what do you know about Phoenix that we don't know? Uh, performing in Phoenix is basically. Have you ever been to Phoenix? Uh, yeah, I was I was there when I was signing some comic books once. Oh, okay. Um, yours? <laughs> no, I. I, I 
I, I, wrote, I, I wrote some for... I didn't sign like just some Iron Man shit that I, I had. I, the way you said it was like, I went to Phoenix and I signed some comic books. <laughs> just like graffiti. Uh, you were, that's when you were really hammered. Yeah, like, oh, I was man. at a low point. That's One night, it started at Cat and Fiddle, and next thing I knew, I was in Phoenix signing comic books. Yeah. <laughs> I was, it was right after Sarah Silverman fired me. I was just like, I wrote this, I wrote that, I wrote this, I wrote that. I was just signing everything. Uh, um... The uh, the uh, but I was signing. Uh, you don't care what the answer is. It, I was signing Rob Sh- Rob Schraub comic books that I wrote. Scott. Ro- Scott. Yeah, good. Rob Schraub's in the house tonight, everybody. There he is, Scud the disposable assassin. Highly recommended. The I believe the hardback collection is here in the store. If you want a little. Yes. <laughs> Phoenix is an abandoned moon colony. If all. <laughs> of the astronauts were uh, Mexican and on crank. That is how to think of it. That is basically the setting. Right. Yeah. And, and if you see any white people, they're, they are either cryptically racist or so gleefully openly racist that it's kind of charming. <laughs> now, the, I, I, we're, we're kind of hoping because of our podcast that we're going to draw like a similar... <laughs> You know, essential crowd that we get here, like is, is that yeah, possible? Okay, but here's okay, but here's the thing you have to keep in mind: every city in in America has has this the, these kind of the the smart people, the dreamers, the artists. I'm just saying, you are. Um, and may I also point out the the pasty and frightened? All right, so that so before you start going, oh hey, there, hey, just, don't run into it, the street and start yeah, fame dancing. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, You'll, you'll, you'll throw something. We can something. do it. Punch. So, um, <laughs> but but every some city some cities are a much more soaked sponge than others. So Phoenix, you're really gonna be wringing that sponge right. to get as much of this as you possibly can. You don't have any advice on how I can do that, do you? I, I don't say morning zoo uh, teams. No. Uh, well, morning zoo teams, unfortunately, they're a. You have to be funny on their terms, which yeah. is this weird. I know, I've done those shouty, desperate. the satellite tours where you yeah. just go, you, you just go, you do three hour block and you just hold there and they go, okay, Dan, are you ready? Uh, this is Harold and uh, Kazoo uh, in, in the mornings. You ready? Yeah, okay. And then you just cut into the middle of this thing and they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Up next yeah. is some asshole we've never heard of, a <laughs> uh, Dan Herman uh, apparently doing something called acceptable tarvar. Uh, <laughs> how did you pronounce that, those wrong? I uh, love that. I love the morning zoos where the guy, the DJ himself, is on the phone, using his actual human voice before he brings you on the air, going, "Hey, Pat Knight, thanks so much for calling in, man. I got to do this stupid show. It's the dumbest thing ever. Look, I like what you do, man. Um, but let's. We, I, this is the market I'm in. So you're cool, right? I'm like, yeah, I guess so. Okay, so we're gonna be on in like three, two. Hey, it's Flappy the Bee. We're gonna have a big old fantastic time. Man, I don't even King of Queens say to Leah Remedy. Boo. So hey, let's do some like and and the, just all these awful and they make you do they make you they go and they, then you like, all your all their inside jokes you have to like join yeah, oh, their Smurf patch and oh, they, they're exactly, like hey yeah. give give us an AIDS bomb what do you why, why do you what? want an AIDS bomb I, I, I did one where I did, because I do improv like Jeff yeah you, 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 you do improv uh, yeah you're on that show you did the improv uh, how about doing a little rap for us about the pinch at the pump. <laughs> the pinch of the pump. The pinch of the pump. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, it's all these weird in jokes that they have not filled you in on the beginnings of. Yeah, so, yeah. hey, it's 9 17 on Thursday morning. You know what I mean? That beef patent. Beef stew? <laughs> uh, what? All right. And then, and then they, I also love the weird, if you don't immediately pitch it to their kind of whack a doodle, it's a party at 6 18 a.m. If you don't hit that level, they immediately get angry with you and wa- try to get rid of you like, whoa, let's get this party pooper out of here yeah. and have some fun. Well, it looks like we just wandered into the <laughs> fossil yard with a foghorn. <laughs> fossil yard with a foghorn. Right. Well, while Spence puts us all to sleep, I want to tell you about our flapjack snack attack with Foghat down at the IHOP on Route 29. That's right, it's the Foghat flapjack snack attack. Come on down, bring a plate, stack them high. <laughs> Coming up next, we got the I Hate My Boss Donut Toss. So bring your <laughs> card out here. You're going to be tossing donuts off the roof, bring a bucket if you catch one. You get a pair of KTRT, the turtle panties that you can wear. Turtle panties? And it, it's just... <laughs> turtle panties? Turtle panties. You... There actually are now, there are things you're going to have to avoid doing or you'll bring the wrong people to your show. Although, that said, 
sometimes bringing the wrong people to your show can make the show kind of amazing. <laughs> and they don't quite know what's going on. But what I don't want to happen is I don't want the 11 people in Phoenix that, that, that actually, like, love me. Yeah. To, 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 I don't want them subjected to the 20 people that wandered into Chuckle, Chuckle Nucks uh, yeah. going like, let's just see comedy tonight. Right. And, and by that, I assume someone as funny as Patton Oswalt will be coming out here. And then I come out and go, uh, uh, I, I have asthma. And, and uh, my, my girlfriend loves me too much. Uh, sometimes it makes me feel like a bad person. <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? And then they're kicking the, the, uh, my fans' chairs. And, yeah. and, and I, I'm like, hey, leave them alone. <laughs> well, one thing that I does kind of help if you're on Twitter is interact with people that have been at the show. And if you keep that conversation going, other people from other cities will see that you're kind of, they'll start tracking you as you move across. And I only did that with a, with a website in MySpace. I didn't have Twitter when I was right. doing Well, you know, we're going to podcast so. every single night. Like, like, like the, we're doing like a show a day. No and shit. each, and we're gonna get on the bus and then podcast out the performance. Okay, but let me stop. All right, so <laughs> that I know that you're right now in your head, you're like, yes, we're gonna document everything, and it's gonna be fucking Hunter S. Thompson and the lawyer and the Cadillac, and I'm gonna have the typewriter on my lap, and I'm gonna chronicle every minute of it. Yeah, yeah, that's a, you, yeah. Yeah, you will hit a wall. <laughs> way sooner than you think you're going to hit it where you are going to not want your life documented. You're like, you you will start, you will fall into this weird sullen, I, I guarantee you one of your podcasts will just be a hey, it's Dan and uh, we're we're in Vegas and I don't know, I mean, we drove all day and now we're here oh, and oh. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I, this, I don't fucking know. I mean, it's, <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, fuck. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. What do you want? What do you want me to stay? Like, and but it'll be a really there'll be a weird insightful moment where you will start to realize, oh, people that are on reality shows that want to be filmed all the time, those they are sociopaths because they don't hit the wall right. that I've just hit, where they are never tired of a camera and microphone shoved. Yeah, in they're just face. constantly uh, they're, they're like solar calculators. Uh, the the. Uh, <laughs> The, but but there's a mis, there's a there's a little mis, misunderstanding here. We're not we're, uh, the the show is going to be po the podcast like like right. I, because I don't unlike you you like you 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 have like pro well, probably by now you have a solid three hours of of really refined <laughs> material that yeah you're but, right but you're but, right <laughs> yeah go no go ahead I'm not gonna but. So you, but 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 I can't. When I go out in front of people, I I don't. So I'm kind of forcing myself because what's for sale is not what's for sale with you. So I'm going the other direction and refusing to allow myself to have any. I'm not gonna. They're gonna be able to hear the show in Phoenix in uh -huh. Austin, and uh -huh. then I'm gonna show up in Austin and go. How about that show in Phoenix? Remember when I got my ass kicked? Wasn't that crazy? But we're going to be doing shows in, in uh, various venues where a lot of their audience will, will be uh, local. Like they promote their own audience. These comedy clubs promote their own, like kind of loyal fan base, right, Patton? Like they they, they have a yeah. Uh, we ran into some trouble on one of these um, because they have some clubs kind of have their own corporate culture where their fans. Uh, have a certain behavior that they try to encourage because it just oh, means no. more sales to them. Here's your pickle flappers. There, uh, yeah, there was a Portland. <laughs> there was a club in Champaign, Champaign, Illinois that told that sent out a thing to its and, and they had on the website these comedians love loud hecklers. What? So come out and and what? we. I, I swear to God, we and we didn't realize what had happened until after the show. We went to their website. No, after the show, people were coming up. I've I've never been in front of a drunker crowd, and they were. Like heckling as you would walk, like the minute they would go, and ladies and gentlemen, Maria Bamford, God damn it, what the fuck? Like as you were walking up, they're yelling at you, like you're mounting the guillotine, and they're just screaming, "You, I'm looking at you." <laughs> you, you, like, you I haven't everyone said anything. Walks up yet. with a, a, their own folded clothes in yeah. their hands. So there's, there's toilet paper <laughs> flaming <laughs> coming out of them. Pat, I don't know if you know this, but uh, we're traveling with our dungeon master because we play D and D in our shows. So Spencer, oh, yeah, definitely go to Phoenix then. Yeah, that's your. <laughs> You guys are like that's you're like freedom riders in the South in the sixties. That's gonna bull oh. <laughs> bulldozers are gonna be exhuming your yeah. corpses. <laughs> Sp Spencer, you're in deep shit, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did okay. We did the a club in. Are you doing anything in Washington D.C.? Uh, no. All right. Well, Mar we did it. Are we in Maryland or somewhere? 
We're, we're, where in, in Maryland? We're in, we're in Arlington, Virginia. At and the Cinema Draft House? Yes. Or no, uh, so, Birchmere. No, uh, no, wait, we're, we're at the Taj Mahaha. <laughs> in Virginia. Taj uh, Mahaha. <laughs> again, I've, I did a club called Sir Laughs a Lot. No. I'm not kidding. In no, Milwaukee. That, it, isn't, yeah, that's Milwaukee. That's my yeah, hometown. Sir Laughs a Lot. Sir Laughs a Lot, the funny business and the oh. comedy cafe. Sir Laughs a Lot. Is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's men only. Well, <laughs> all I'm saying is we did the, we did the Black Cat in D.C. and it was the show was so packed. It was I, 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 f- I felt very gratified. We have sold out the Black Cat. It was a club I would go to when I was young. And I, but well, hang on. So I was so afterwards I'm talking to the club owner and he's really nice and I said, Hey, so um, really sold the place out, huh? He goes, uh, well, Yeah, I mean, you know, we uh, you had, you had about 730 tickets sold. I'm like, well, I mean, it was like literally wall to wall. Yeah, I mean, we do a lot of, uh, uh, the place holds about 900. Uh, we normally do like thrash shows here and punk shows. Um, your fans tend to be a little, <laughs> like, like literally our fans are all these chubby nerds and they can only put it's like a bunch of little messed out thrash fans. Yeah, they can easily get 900 of them in there. Yeah. But our fans are... I'm very excited to come see Zach Galifianakis and <laughs> Brian Posehn. And, uh, and so I got the DVRs catching all the Doctor Who tonight so I can watch that in the morning. But uh, for the night... Well, that's uplifting. Need, there's, yeah. there's, there's sections of the country where, where, where this can work in our favor. Yeah, like, oh, we, exactly. We, 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 you we have, have way more mass. It's a full room, house. So. Uh, there's seven people. <laughs> <laughs> Well, normally, Your audience is so fat when yeah. they have a full house. <laughs> they really, yeah. This, this place they, holds, they're not even full. Yeah, this place holds 900 punk fans or 11 rascal scooters. So you guys did really well tonight. We had. <laughs> well, uh, well, this has been edifying. Yeah. So, th- so then, Patton, real quick. I mean, well, I'll just list off from memory where we're going. Right. If, if if one of these cities. Uh, uh, brings back horror stories or fun. I'm, I cannot. I, I'll just tell you right now. I can't wait to hear the Phoenix podcast. That's all I'm saying. All right, that's going to be interesting. We go after that. We go to Austin, Texas, which is good. That, fun. Yeah, that's that's a that's a gimme. That's then we're going to Atlanta. Woo! Atlanta. Oh. Atlanta is is weirdly either fun or awful. Um, the one thing I love about it, Atlanta is the the freak scene there. Uh, that's the one place because the the it's so hot and so humid. There's this. <laughs> we drove by this goth club called The Vault and it was like early evening like 5 o'clock it had to be 111 degrees out so watching all the goths with just their makeup like they're all in black and they're waiting to get into the the vault and they're so committed but it's all like a, a goth a goth in Atlanta is a fucking hero like that is a superhero when it's like I, man, that black lipstick is just running out. It looked like I was I was eating dead syrup. That, I saw what it looked like. We're we're sold out in Atlanta, aren't we? Uh, of course you are. Yeah. And then, then it's uh, Nashville and Charlotte, and then some. For some reason, also I don't know how many gigs you guys did on your tour, and and what the pace was, but it's almost every night we're doing a show. And so after I mean, that's Charlotte, how it was for us. We're was... in Brooklyn the next night from Charlotte. Holy shit! And it's gonna be January. <clears throat> It's going to be, oh. yeah. We're, and then we go up into the north, uh, northeast and then across the top of the country during late January. What the... F- really? Yeah, it's... It's, 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 it's abso- my first tour. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's going to uh-huh. be your last tour. I, I didn't want... Again, that was sitting right there, but... Um, <laughs> well, you know, you, there's a good chance that you're going to get to be one of those... Um, oh, what, what, would, what else would he have done? Yeah, what an hadn't? amazing legend he was. That, yeah, if that's... <laughs> That semi hadn't jackknifed oh. on. Uh... It, who knows who would have fired him? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dan, uh, I don't. Wow. The Northeast in January. Then there's one night we go from Kansas City, Kansas to Denver, Colorado. That, that's a long that's a long pull, right? That seems and like... also Denver at this time of year is really dicey to get to. With you, the ice and the and, that's the, ro- like, and the Rocky Mountains, yeah, you're it? you're yeah. getting into like you know Scatman Crothers and The Shining. Like get a, <laughs> go get a fucking Hobie Cat or something to get through that snow. It's gonna be bad. I would I, I would take a you know take some take some sturdy Pioneer women to eat in case you get stuck in a snowstorm or something. 
What's your What's your pemmican budget on this uh, tour? <laughs> Holy shit, Dan! Um, everyone, get a clipping of his clothes as a relic, because this could be it. I mean, this is like Jamesy, like fuck off. I'm getting in my convertible. See you later. Oh, it's almost wow. certain that we're gonna miss a gig or two on this thing because it's so breakneck and it's gonna be bad weather. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's, it's also you know the weather's getting worse and worse. You know, like there's more storms, more traffic. We're fucked. What the? <laughs> All right, fine. We're fucked. Goodbye, uh, dude. Um, I mean, but if you say you're fucked enough, you 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 garner the favor of a very gullible god, right? <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Well, it's like yeah. in the theater they say if you say it, it won't happen. Oh, that that uh that antler, uh, that moose thing on the wall, that looks kind of rickety. If you, uh, you said it, it's not gonna fall. Like that's mm. it's that kind of. Thing. <laughs> Just it's theater as many weird rituals as you can think up. Do them every morning. <laughs> Spinning witter shins, rabbit feet. I don't know what. Just. We, right. we, we, well, Patton, were you guys on the bus the whole time? Were you always in the bus? How many, how many breaks were there? Hotels? Oh, no, we were always in the bus. Uh, sometimes we would just get a day room where we could use the day room and shower and change because we couldn't afford four hotel rooms. Um, so we've, st- we've stayed in some hotels that were so super, like the, 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 the ghost of so many ex-suicidal truckers were just <laughs> crying out from the mattresses. <laughs> I don't know what kind of hotel accommodations you've... Uh, where do you think you're well, staying? Or are you well, sleeping on the bus? Or there's there's some things where like we have to get in the bus right after the show because it's a giant like long long haul to somewhere else. There there will be gigs where we land. We have a, like a couple hotel rooms to you know shower and shave and that kind of stuff. Right now, Bob Seger is feeling a huge disturbance in the forest where he, wherever he's sitting, it's like Jesus, someone oh someone's gonna die. I feel it. I got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll warm up my Grammy fingers. Yeah, exactly. But at least the bus will be relaxing because there's going to be cameras everywhere and it's, we're, we're making a movie the whole time. Oh, yeah, that's good. And we're podcasting our thing from the bus every day. It's going to be awesome. I don't... Wow. <laughs> All we had were cameras. Like, if, if, again, this is... And again, in 10 years, what you're doing is going to seem quaint. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, well, didn't, they, didn't have, they didn't have any of the anal mics. It was weird. It was, <laughs> it was only 2013. It was a simpler yeah, time. What's going so. on in this guy's butt while he's... Yeah. Here. Uh, well, is there anything before... I know your time is precious. Uh, uh, Very precious. Yes. <laughs> and uh, is there anything uplifting you'd like to say uh, before you go? The one, here's the one, and this is a truly uplifting thing I will try to leave you with. Uh, if you do a successful tour, as much of a... as gr- soul-grinding as it is and as physically exhausting as it is, when you do a long tour and you come back to whatever your home city, especially L.A., your home city seems so manageable and tameable after mm. being out there in, in this gigantic, crazy country. You come back to L.A. and you're like, I can get anything done here. And successful is just defined by finishing it, right? Like not by not everything being, you know, successful. Oh, no, no. I mean, the, the dese- I, I almost wish it's like when I was a wedding DJ, we had this thing where... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're a wedding DJ? I spoke... No, I, when I was. Oh, yeah. You not, were. Yeah. Not now. Although there's some cards on if you want to grab them. Um, uh, but we had a thing where at a wedding, a successful, it was a sign of a successful marriage if one thing went wrong at the wedding. So a, a successful tour has got to have one night. It's like a, like a you right. know, like the, the Judas, basically. Yeah, that yeah. One night where everything fucking goes wrong yeah. that you can then set everything else against. Yeah, that's what I figure, but it'll, it could also be... Eight nights, right? Yeah. yeah. There's no reason but for then that. The, yeah, but if, our, eight... if our bad night happens two nights in, that's that's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But you, look, if you're you're guaranteed a one good night with Austin, I'm telling you that right now. All right. You just well, are. Yeah. It's, I've it's been great. to Austin. Uh, yeah. They, they 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 seem like they're they're, they're hipsters. They're good kids because they're they're hipsters in a state that 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 doesn't even uh, respect America. No. They're. I know. They're they're hipster. The, the hipsters in Austin are like. That compound and the road warrior of the hippies, all yeah. like you're like Mad Max pulling in with the gasoline. Yeah. You know, you I want just, you I, want yeah. Leonard Cohen references? You talk to me. <laughs> like it's that kind of. So. Uh, all right. Well, let's thank Pat and Oswald for coming by. Thank you. So bad. Is the, is the booze calling you? Uh, well, yeah. Bally high. Uh, that was. Uh, 
That was that was what I wanted, I guess. I want, I, he we, he gave us real information. Yeah, yeah. It's it's. He didn't just say don't take a shit in the bus, you know. <laughs> I. I can't remind you of that enough, by no, the way. No, no, that's, that's, that's good advice. I'm just saying I expected yeah. more of that. Like, like well, uh, you know, whenever you see a gas station, uh, make sure you bu- buy some pants. Well, why? Because you, you, this is something you can't know until you're on the road. You, need, you always need pants to make your antenna work. Or, you know, just some weird shit that, like, you, you know. But, but, but he, 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 really, he really put the scare on me. <laughs> Are you nervous now? Yeah. But you know who else was nervous? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh-oh, that and, sounds and like a rap. That, 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 that sounds like a rap. This is, this, is, this, is, this is rap number two called Freestyle. Freestyle? Yeah, Dan, yo, this, we, we, we got to work out these, rap, these raps. Yo, free, freestyle. Yo, <laughs> rapping for a while. Got a sober rap coming at your ass. I got Howard Hessman at the head of the class. <laughs> <laughs> Stock rhymes <laughs> coming out all the time. Freestyle, got a sober style, got a freestyle, got a sober rap, it's going badly. I, your mom's named Hadley. It's a name, you can look it up. I saw your mama, I got a drink. I gotta have a drink. I never told you not to drink. I never told you not to drink. Are you gonna do it? Be strong, Dad, be strong. It's like the price is right. <laughs> Uh, and it's not fair if the people saying drink are louder because you're you're, yeah. you're drunk. How many, by by cheering, how many of you out there wish he wouldn't drink to to continue the experiment? Okay. Now, how many people want to see Dan drink? Okay. No, that's, a, that's a minority. L- less people, but drunker. <laughs> and louder. You know what else is a minority? Black people. Rap about race. There we go. Slow rap. Slow smooth, rap? smooth uh, uh, slow rap. Sexy slow. <laughs> Wait, if, if feel the beat. It's the first time you're hearing this. I feel the yeah. groove here, man. Rapping about race. <laughs> Rapping about race. <laughs> Rapping about the... <laughs> Complications with the color of your face. Some people got dark skin, some people got light, some people purple, some people white, but we gotta come together in a big spaceship. We gotta come together in a big spaceship. Rap about race. I met an Indian man in China. He said, My race. Couldn't look finer. He took my hand and accepted me. We went up to the top of a coconut tree. He said, why don't you hold my body? I said, I'll hold your body. He said, I want you to hold me. I said, hold me. (laughs) Rap about race. Rap about race. It's a rap about race. It's a rap about race. I got a black friend. He's my shield, got a black friend. I can feel however I want when I'm standing next to my black friends. I'm not racist, but blah, blah, blah. I can say that shit because I got my black friend chilling it on the sideline. We go to get food, my black friend says. I think I'm in the mood for fried chicken and it's not racist because he's black. What? Sorry. There's a downside. I'm always terrified when he speaks up. The chicken's always up. fried. <laughs> Thank you, Enti. Enti. That was a nice slow rap about race. Also, if, if by rap you mean you sang the entire thing. All right, everyone's yeah. a critic. No, 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 I'm saying that, that was nice. That, that, I think Eric Idle's advice, like, you, now you're singing. Yeah. That, that, was like, that was like a cool like uh, Keith Sweat kind of R&B kind of thing going on. All right, well, uh, you know, let's keep, the, let's keep the fever pitch rolling, right? Do we, can I, I just, there's only one thing that I really knew that I wanted to talk about, and it starts with the fact that my beautiful, perfect girlfriend, uh, Aaron McGathy, 
for those of you who don't know, uh, 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 we always hate surprise parties. We, we, we've, we've done them in the past. Surprise parties seem like a very strange thing to have to do to people because you, the, the fact that the, the party exists is the surprise. So, and then you spend the entire day tricking people into thinking that no one's doing anything for them. <laughs> and then their, their surprise is, oh, you did. Uh, and it just seems like it causes a lot of misery. And, uh, but so we both agree, like she was like, I'll never throw you a surprise party, but could I do this thing for you that would be a surprise at your party? Uh, can the nature of your party be a surprise for you? Yes, of course, darling. Um, <clears throat> she published a fucking book of all of my bullshit from the internet, uh, f most of which is filled with me either talking about jerking off uh, <laughs> to other women or, or dating them and breaking up with them and having my heart broken. She's scouring all that stuff and, and picking the good stuff from the bad stuff. Uh, uh, the, the, and all of it is just me got a big narcissistic rant. And you, you know, like, like you, there, are, there are girlfriends that would, you know, justifiably go, I don't want to reward this. Like, he needs to come down a couple notches. <laughs> But uh, she, she, she's like, it's like that arm wrestling thing. You just go with the f force, you know? That's just like, like, like she's, she's celebrating my ego. For my birthday, I walked into my, my living room and she had gathered 60 of my, my finest friends and, uh, and, and they all did selected readings of this book that I didn't know I had written until that moment. <laughs> And then they all had me sign it, and, and it was like this narcissist dream. It was it's really a amazing. Perfect like, birthday party. I, I read through it, and it's like when, when I saw it, it's like I, I've read most of it, like, you know, because I've known you a long time, and I've read like, you know, emails or blog entries or things like that. It's really cool to go back and like, like this is like a chronology of, of your mania and your, your life. It's right. Like, so, I, I, so the, here's the weird side effect of it. So people are excited about it. There's Dan Harmon fans online. She, you know, there's 900 copies of this thing. She's gonna, she's gonna sell, uh, sell them uh, for, during a limited time. I have to try to find this. Uh, uh, can, can, can anyone, can someone in the audience that has a phone that I'll be able to read so that I'm not like trying to multitask, bring up the, the if you can find it, the Onion AV Club uh, 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 article that is about the, the, the book. Do, do, is that enough information to find it? Whoever's got it first that, that can hand me their phone, like 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 bring it up. And I'm, I'm, I'm look. So I, you know, she, Aaron texted me. Oh, the Onion AV Club. They they posted an article about the book. It's like getting. Oh wow, that's great. That's really great news. I went to look at it just to verify that that's the case. And then why do I always do this? Scroll down to the comment section. No, no. <laughs> I thought that I was impervious. I, 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 but this is like it is, it is the, it is brutal for, oh. for me. But I think I also think like my definition of stuff that hurts is so different from other people. What, what, what ratio of uh, like being hundred? I, I being felt like it was like to being praised. I, that was the other thing. It felt like it was just like this unilateral fucking like fuck this guy. What is he? Why does he want me to buy his book? And uh, Sean, Sean, Sean has a phone for you, Dan. So it, oh. It, oh. <laughs> All right. So, well, I mean, you could give yours to Jeff, and he could maybe pick a couple tasty ones. Yeah. So, so they do. Uh, I just want to like. All right. So I, I'm scrolling down to the comment section. You mean? Yeah. I just want to. I'm gonna stop at the ones that really, really hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. I, I, can I just? Well, so the first one goes. Can, uh, can I start with one? Okay. Go ahead. All proceeds will go toward getting Mr. Harmon a shower and a clean shirt. <laughs> That's not. That's that's a fan. That's 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 uh, yeah. No, the one underneath it, and an autographed, self-taken photo of Dan Harmon crying, lamenting why you couldn't just let him be great. That hurts. Okay, I, I've gone through seven ones that were not so bad. Uh, let's see. Uh. Well, you know, then there's ones that are just like, I don't give a shit about the collected online writings of Dan Harmon. That's fine, but why type that? What do you do? It's a, it's a, do you understand how the internet works? Like, what do you, why are you on this page? <laughs> <laughs> and that, but that, so that person says that, and then that serves as a route for a bunch of people to chime in replying to that person. This person who doesn't give a shit about my collected online writings. Uh, this person says, Ooh. don't worry. Dan Harmon cares enough about the collective works of Dan Harmon. Oh. Enough for all of us. <laughs> By all of us, I mean everyone who existed in the past, everyone currently alive, and everyone who will ever enter this mortal coil. Uh, by the way, that, that one hurts less after he says mortal coil, because yeah, it's yeah. like, nice try, self-styled Dan Harmon. 
Gee, I wonder where this is coming from. Well, here, here's one that's all caps, and it just uh, this, this one is pretty succinct. The collected online writings of Dan Harmon sucks. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't. Yeah. Uh, so here's a, Dan Harmon's next project will be a delightfully quirky sitcom about a delightfully quirky group of six to eight delightfully quirky friends who hang out enacting delightfully quirky send-ups of various movies and TV shows while yelling at everyone with an earshot that their vision is too beautiful and unique for this dark and savage world. <laughs> So, so now our crime is wanting people to be happy? I, I, and by ours, I mean mine, but it's a, like, like I, 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 I just, uh, uh, let's see. Sorry, sorry. while you look, Dan, so, uh, I, I got this note, and I, this, is, this is good stuff. There is an orange scion blocking someone that needs to move right now behind the store. The end. An orange scion. This, this is a car that looks like a roller skate. I, I'll probably stop with this one, because this one is kind Dan, of... may I share one? Oh. Jeez. Jesus Christ. So, uh, the, the, the ghost of Christmas presents. <laughs> I, Adam Goldberg. I'm Jewish. Just, I don't get Christmas presents. Did, did you just, like, materialize there? I, 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 didn't I was even... here for at least 50, 53 seconds. My, my angst floated off of me, and, <laughs> and, the, and the cloud formed into... Uh, all right, what, what, what were you going to... Uh, a bunch of stuff. Sue's chef shares that maybe he's morphing into Scud, and Jim Traficant responds, Seriously, dot, 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 those Orson Welles-level bags in that drawing, maybe he had Harmon sit for the drawing after a week-long bender of shame as comedy writers are prone to. Well, These guys are mean, that but they, they know their me. stuff. That's just calling me a comedy writer and saying that I'm dedicated to my work. But then someone <laughs> says... That's why my best friend drew, drew baggy eyes on me. He knew that I'd be flattered by it. I, I, like, I, like, I like being a fucking slob and a maniac. What? what I don't like is people implying that I think that they should like me. Like I, 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 uh, that I, that, that's what gets me. That's the weird thing I wanted to talk about that I discovered when reading through this. Is like My soft spot is, uh, is pretense. Like, like If you want to know how to really hurt me... It's like the idea that I think that I'm special because I don't, I, and I think it's because of my brother. I think it's growing up under my brother who was, uh, uh, who no longer listens to the podcast, hopefully, and if he does, fuck him because <laughs> he got really mad about me telling stories about him that were Glad pretty, pretty with benign. that, by the way. He was oh, a dick. Jesus Christ. <sighs> uh, uh, Look, I, people were mean to you on the internet because you're not me. If you go to harmontown.com, which we should all do after the show, it's unanimous that I am the hero. Everyone's like, I love Goldberg. He's scrappy, and Dan is me. <laughs> you, 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 what you, the fuck turns. is going on? He's, he's, he's rounded the bend in the Hamburglar territory. It's like he's, he's embracing his role as, yeah. a, as, a, as our product spokesvillain. Yes. I want Harmontown, rubble, rubble. <laughs> Get away from there, Goldberg. No, oh, I love it. <laughs> Carmen Town is for humans, silly Goldberg. <laughs> it's like at a ski show. Like, like, look out, Cindy. Goldberg's behind you. Uh, well, uh, I thought it was more like I dress up every week like Barney Rubble and try and steal the uh, fruity pebbles of your self-respect. <laughs> yes. Precisely. That's another, yes, that's another that's example. All right, right. Adam, um, Adam, I wonder, Adam, I, I'm Adam, gonna, I'm Adam, gonna wrap it up. I'm Adam, gonna wrap it up. Adam, I'm gonna wrap it Adam, up. I'm sorry, I'm Adam, gonna wrap it up. Adam, I'm gonna wrap it up. Shut the fuck up, Adam. <laughs> I don't care what you're holding. I don't care I what's in your hand. I fucking, I'm gonna control you right now. You're either rapping or you're getting off the stage. <laughs> Give me beat number one. All right, when beat number one. <laughs> Gonna wrap it up Goldberg style. Yeah, gonna take a while. Dan, uh, thanks for the podcast. I've had a lot of fun with the people that I just chant rap about, and I'll say this. Adam one. Goldberg, everybody, let's hear it for him. Wasn't he great? I brought you a board Wasn't game. Oh, let's, let's hear it for him. him. Guest department town, City stay out. at the yeah. and I brought Eric Studio Eidl City Marriott. Oh. I got a card for Eric oh, Idol. I thought that'd be a good fit. All right. Adam Goldberg's yeah. clothing by Dolce hey, and Gabbana. <laughs> One more time for Adam Goldberg, everybody. All right. I, I just wanted to... Re there's, there's, I, I get, it it kind of got derailed. Uh, I don't, I, you don't, I don't say. Know how. You don't fucking say. But so, 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 so now is it just because Adam becoming more and more terrifying? <laughs> now now I'm worried for my own safety. Yeah, it's... It's... it's, it's uh, it, he... he uh, 
the last thing I see before I die is going to be, I'm going to wake up and it's going to be him with a butcher knife. <laughs> well, you just saw how easy it was. There was a, there was a... He just was a poof, he yeah. was there. There was an ending of a Law and Order where they went like toe to toe with this like really vicious prison gang and, and, uh, and they, they put the, you know, everyone was really intimidated by them, jurors and stuff like that, and they, but they pursued the case and they won for justice and then the epilogue of the Law and Order episode is they're on the streets of New York and the, the ADA is walking and getting a hot dog and some guy in tattoos comes up next to her and goes, excuse me, are you so and so? And she goes, yeah. And he goes, you can tell your boss we were this close. And he walks away, oh. and then it just leaves on her going, <laughs> <laughs> and that's I, I, kind of Goldberg was that close, and yeah. I didn't know, yeah, like 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 there will be no warning. He'll be in your back seat. Does he have the thing like the little the little taxi driver gun thing? The little <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it would be more like an X Files like uh, biological weapon that <laughs> like like turn out that his one of his hands is a lizard hand or something. <laughs> Do you think it's time to bring up uh, Spencer? Yes, it, I just wanted to read this one last thing, but now that it got all interrupted, it feels like, oh, then Dan, Dan spent this episode dwelling on comment sections. But I just wanted it to be one big thing, but I wanted to close with this one. The, the, uh, uh, I don't know whether this one hurts or not, but, but uh, it definitely affects me. Uh, somebody, uh, uh, collected works, Harmon sucks, blah, 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 and people are responding, and then a guy says, yeah, I've gone from loving him and community to hating him and loving community. That's really sad. All right. <clears throat> I don't know why, now I read that out loud, it seems like that's what I wanted, and... and uh, well, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really what I wanted. I wanted to explore it, because you guys are my therapist, that's all. I just wanted to say it out loud. And it kind of hit me in the solar plexus, like, like reading those comments, and I was texting Aaron about it, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why am I so affected by this? I've, I, I, I'm, I'm so shielded in places where everybody usually kicks, you know, and, I, 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 and like, the, then the, this weird shit, like, gets me, and I, it has something to do with, uh, I think I had an epiphany in my car sorting through it. It has something to do with, with needing other people's approval, which is a de doy, but uh, like, 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 I'm 40 years old. I, I'm, I, I am allowed to now become a uh, a dispenser of, uh, of 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 happiness. I can't expect to get it like, 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 like fed to me like a baby bird anymore. Uh, you know, emotionally, it's you know, you have to grow up a little bit. I can still be insecure and express my anxieties and stuff, but there is, there's a, you know, the, the, the people that write that shit, they don't expect my dumb fat ass to be like scrolling through it and then go, ooh, 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 ooh. They, 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 they wouldn't, they wouldn't really want to have an impact on a human being. They're just screaming at the sky, notice me, like my, no one in particular, like I, I'm, I'm, no, they're talking to themselves. I disagree. I think they actually do think, I think not all of them. Listen, Adam always does this shit. He hands you shit and then like, there was no, a plate of no, cookies last no, time. No, it's a gift. He gave me a board uh, game. I put a hazmat suit on. That's anthrax all the way. <laughs> Who's, whose was this? Uh, Over here. This is Sean's, right? Oh, thank you, Sean. Oh, Sean. Oh, uh, Sean, Sean is own built-in reminder. I, I had written it down, but I might have forgotten. Sean, thank you for your wonderful birthday gift, I'm assuming it was, or New Year's gift. Maybe a Christmas gift. Got, podcast got pretty boring. Well, when, you know, when, when, we... when Dan started counting the number of, of ways something could be a gift. Um... <laughs> That's when I checked out, said the 380th person crammed in the back corner. I'd say it's time to kick the show into overdrive. Uh, 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 oh, and you have other thoughts, apparently. No, no, no. You mean Spencer Drive? Yeah, Spencer yeah, Drive. Yeah, let's do it. Let's... Anybody know a guy named Spencer as our dungeon master? <laughs> Spencer, you, ha you have a new musical theme. Is this that is... what this is? Did... This is the new Spencer theme. <laughs> oh, we have our own legally clearable yeah, Spencer it, it, theme. This is, this is called Spencer Intro. All right, Spencer is our dungeon master. Uh, those of you just tuning in, uh, we love and adore him. We found him out of our own audience. And Spencer is going to uh, take off. I mean, actually, it, it occurs to me, Spencer, I know nothing about you. Are you going to leave a job behind as you come on tour with us? Um, yeah, I work at an Apple store near my house. And I work in the back. I count boxes. Um, <laughs> it's fun. Um, so so you, you got you got a, a furlough. You get to come on leave with Harmontown. You're gonna, and he's going to be on the tour bus with us. Dungeon mastering every dungeon that we uh, uh, try to enter. Did, it, did any of that Patton Oswalt uh, horror stories in Phoenix? Uh, did that worry you at all, Spencer? Do you feel? Uh... Um, I don't want to die in a jackknife. <laughs> yeah, that's always my thing. Is that the, yeah? I, 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 
I just big tour bus accident. That's pretty ignominious. It's, that's no good. All right. Uh, I leveled up, you guys. I got new gadgets and stuff. Bear with me. Oh, you! Oh. Oh, our wow. dungeon master leveled up. So you, you got a new iPad. Did you uh, find that in the back room of the store? <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, we'll, we just, sometimes we count less. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys write that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Spencer and I hang out all the time. Uh, <laughs> write uh, bits. We were riding bikes the other day. So, Spencer, I hear you... Uh, <laughs> Spencer, I hear something funny happened to Trader Joe's yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know me. And traders. <laughs> that, that one needs work. we got to work Sorry. on that one. Uh, the workshop on that one. Uh, speaking of workshops, uh, we, we should bring up an improviser to uh, help us play Dungeons yes, & Dragons. We, we decided uh, that, that the Cavalcade of Stars uh, wasn't quite complete yet. We're going to bring up somebody who's never played D&D before. He's going to fill in... And maybe in some guest star role that Spencer has created, this person knows nothing of D&D, has never ever played it, but maybe you know him. Television's Ryan Stiles. to sit down because I've had so much of this sweet, sweet liquor tea. <laughs> I think it's very nice. You quit drinking because of your girlfriend? It, well, no. So I've, sweet. Yeah, yeah. So sweet. <laughs> i give it a month. <laughs> <laughs> it's very odd that you stopped drinking because of her and yet I'm backstage doing lines off her tits. That's, really weird. That's so weird. It's better you don't know. I think, I think they were her tits. Hi, how are you? You think they were her tits? Hey, are you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Are you, uh... <laughs> I hope so. Go on, Ryan. How Otherwise, they're two perfectly formed moles together. I'm good. Are you going on uh, tour with Jeff? Have you toured with Jeff before? No, no. See, I've toured with Jeff for a number of years. Oh, do you have any... Uh... Uh, are you on a bus? Yes. You're in for uh, two or three hours a day of retarded Elvis. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, do a little I, I, retarded Elvis for I us. Have, I have a couple stock characters. Do a little retarded Elvis for us today, if you want. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just a return. No more. Do more, though. Do more of it. <laughs> and it but, Three hours. It's all, Three hours. Dan, the thing is... It's, it's, and I mean, it's, I'm in a bunk in the bed. He'll open the curtain and start doing it. <laughs> yes, Jeff, I'm lonesome tonight, yes. <laughs> Thank the thing you. is, retarded Elvis isn't funny for the first hour. No, no, you have to keep it. Second up. hour, great. Yeah, yeah. Third hour it goes into a bit of a trough. Yeah. But it's going to be fun for you. Yeah. Your girlfriend staying here? Is she going with you? Uh, <laughs> she's coming with. Ryan. She is. So you're not yeah. drinking the entire tour then? Oh, I thought you were asking because you wanted to do more coke off her. No, 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 <laughs> no. Uh, I'm moving on. No, no, that. she's not. She's not sober. We're just cleansing for four days. That's we're gonna, great. We're gonna. We're gonna. What was the green stuff you were drinking backstage? It was kale, celery, That's spinach, fantastic. cucumber. This food. is a uh, vodka and cranberry. <laughs> <laughs> is there a cut back there, anybody? More kale for Dan, please. No, no, no. More no, kale. No, you, you just flung a craven on me. I'm going to have some vodka, too. <laughs> Ask for vodka as retarded Elvis, please, would you? Oh, I can't have some vodka. That's oh, fantastic. Uh, Four yeah. hours. The thing, hours. About, uh, thing about tour, I, mean, I should ask uh, Pat in this. Uh, the thing about tour bus comedy is that after a while, the, the, the level of comedy goes just lower and lower and lower. And then it becomes almost a challenge of who can do the basest comedy? Yeah. Who can be the most adolescent? Like, it's, it's like a, a game of chicken with... Uh, with you know, I'm doing uh, Two and a Half Men with Patton this week. Oh, yeah? Not very funny. <laughs> Surprising, because he, he stole the He's show He's gone, that's why I said that. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's his character? I was gonna, I was gonna ha if he didn't leave, I have it on my iPhone, I have the script, I was gonna get us to oh, do the yeah. scene from... Uh, they're, they're doing Two and a Half Men together, and uh, yeah... They're, we're not together, I'm never aware anybody else is there, really. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we were gonna do a run-through Since through Charlie left, scene. you know, it's not... Uh, uh, How's the show? Is it, is it funny now with Aston? Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
I shouldn't have had this much to drink. <laughs> You're having so much there, fun. There goes my medical. <laughs> so I, I have to leave at some point, like right in the middle of Harmon, or toward like the, like the, the latter, you know, t- like two-thirds of the tour, I leave Harmon Town to go do shows with you and uh, Greg. Yeah, it's a little scary to have Jeff on the road. We were in uh, uh, some small town in Canada, and I think it was, was it bikini bronco riding that night? It was bikini, yeah, bikini bull riding. And he walked in in a suit. In, uh, it was Kamloops, uh, yeah. British Columbia, yeah. and it was, a, it, was a, it was a marquee out of, in front of a place called Cactus Jack's. And it, uh, it boasted of... Uh, Jeff always thinks he's in L.A. Bikini bull riding. And I walked in. I said, I'm going to go in there. And someone that, was, that lived there was like, no, you, you don't want to go to Cactus Jack's. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty... You're wearing the only suit in town. So I came in and I, I walked in in a suit. And there, there was, it was a bar that had a metal detector. And there was a bin, like, like the little trays that you get at the airport. And, they, and in, in the tray were shivs. There were screwdrivers and like <laughs> homemade knives. Like, just, like, Some people have a weekend leave. But, but, the, the, but the beauty was... Like we'll, we'll take your sharpened screwdriver and we'll, we'll, we'll with the, you know duct tape for the handle and we'll leave it here. You get it when you get out. When you when you leave, you can get your 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 shiv back. <laughs> How long have you been dating this girl? Uh, a year, really. Oh, so it's new. Right it's on the, new. Right right on the nugget. I, still exciting. Our first kiss was Christmas Day. Wow. Oh. Jesus's birthday. You had. That's great. <laughs> and then, yeah. Then I started. <laughs> Okay, so it's uh, still exciting and everything. How old is she and how old are you? I'm just curious. Uh, <laughs> she's, she just turned 28 and I just turned 40. Wow, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> You're 40 now? Really? You're 40 to look 40. Yeah. You still look at your penis in the mirror? Uh, I, 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 I don't do I, that I, anymore. I don't know. I try to... <laughs> I don't. I, I stopped doing that at some point. It's like my high school yearbook. I know I have one. I just never ever look at it. <laughs> I, mean, I look at my body naked all the time. I Do you really? I, yeah, but my penis is like a—it's just like another nipple down there. It doesn't. <laughs> it's a, it's a it's a it's a. I, some people are growers and some people are showers. I'm a retractor. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm like Mars exploration equipment. I just like I, you just look down there. You know what helps? Uh, you know what helps me? Yeah. Golden Girls reruns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so. Right, Ryan, you have never. Pl- do, you, do you know anything about D and D at all? No, no, I have a life. Oh. How, are, how are you? <laughs> He's right. Don't boo him. Yeah, <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. Ryan, you might you might be beloved outside of Nerd Mel, but in here, Spencer is kind of a kind of a golden god. So. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Spencer, if you would. Uh, it, uh, How does this work? I have uh, no br- idea. Br- br- Spencer right now will give you a little intro to bring us, uh, Dan and I... Uh, Is Dan- it important I know about this game? Am I going to fuck this up or do I need to know uh, specifics? Have you ever this? done bad improv before? <laughs> yeah, it's just yes. like that. It's just like that. That's all I do. All right. Uh, Spencer, I work I with Drew Carey. <laughs> no way to avoid it. Uh, all right, Spencer. What, is he here? Fuck off. He's not here. Jesus. <laughs> Hey, Ryan, remember yeah. when, uh, when Drew used to be two and a half men? Yes, I do. Uh, I remember that. Yeah. So when we last met, our heroes had just defeated Lord Butzalot, who attacked the adventurers in a fit of rage. After Lord Mango had fallen, his barbarian tribesmen came out of hiding. They thanked Sharpie for quelling Lord Butzalot's wrath, then woke up the barbaric paterfamilias. Mango came to in a confused daze, first ornery and eager to fight. Mango's his dad. But then, more understanding and apologetic of his prior behavior. Revealing his true intentions, the Warchief explained the powerful effects of the magical fragments of power and their role in the formation of the multiverse. (laughs) In a fit of madness, the Great Lord snatched up his red stone and swallowed it in one single confusing gulp. This odd gesture can't help but remind you of Admiral Darkstar, that black-garbed, awkward fellow from the Ziggurat, that evil malevolence who swore to steal and destroy your planet with the power of the fragments. Just then, the party heard the unmistakable sound of an approaching horse-drawn cavern. Uh, uh, All right. I need my character sheet. Yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah. Do. Dispense the character sheets if you oh, would. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I thought we were starting. I, no, wa- we, we, I wasted that horse. <laughs> Tonight, the role of the horse will be played by Ryan Stiles. <laughs> that was no, a three-legged was... horse, by the way. I don't know if you... Dan, did you get mine? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, just sorting them out. Right. Don't mix them up. Uh, is it... Ryan, my, my name is Quark, and he's Sharpie. 
All right. He's a, he's, a, he's a human magic user. I'm a, I'm a gnome barbarian. I've noticed you guys get papers you and have You have this shit. one here. Oh, okay. <laughs> the fuck? This is an improv? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? I've had this thing for four it's months. Like, I have no idea what's going on. fucking fantasy football here or something. I always kind of stare at it, and I never like the information never makes it all the way into my brain because there's other things going on. All right, so Spencer, what are our surroundings right now? You're in the wreckage of that Knoll camp that where you fought Lord Barbar or Lord Butzalot. And is, is he? St- w- w- Lord he, Butzalot's still with you. He's still with the barbarians. You guys were just having a nice chat. He he ate one of those things, and you guys were like, "What?" All right, so so he's got one. <laughs> he ate one of the fragments. Yeah. Right. And what, what was the advice? What, 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 the, uh, the, the, uh, we, we had some people from the audience help us out. The, the, what, there was advice about that one fragment that he'd eaten, right? Somebody said magic. cast a tech magic, and then we, 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 we... You do this every week? Yeah. And it carries on? It's like a series? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, uh, we, we killed a giant piggy bank. Uh, a cube of jello. A cube of jello, yeah. You guys should get cable. <laughs> <laughs> We detected some shards in his stomach, and then that was a big revelation. So we have some of the shards, right? You have uh, two shards, yes. I, and, I, and my dad ate one and walked away. Uh huh. And now you're hearing an on, uh, approaching wagon. <laughs> All right. So I, I look at w- w- what the wagon is. You look to the. Although north. I have my guesses. <laughs> I think it's a wagon. You're not sure why a caravan would come here of all places, the ruins of a newly destroyed knoll encampment. You hear the gruff, gravelly voice from inside a cart call out, Welcome to Oluof's Wonder Wagon. The cart screeches to a halt about 15 feet away from you. (laughs) And its wooden panels collapse outwards, revealing an equally questionable decorated storefront. You see food, crafts, supplies, materials, leather goods, cure, to, uh, tools, clothing, weapons, jewels, and all manner of assorted knickknacks and curios. Hmm. And before you stands, presumably, Olaf, a halfling with a large turban and an orange mustache. <laughs> That's you. Oh. <laughs> All right, so you're playing a shopkeeper. Here's your thing. I wrote a list of things you sell on the back, but you can also sell other things. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Good day to you, sir. Good day. (laughs) Tell me what you seek. I have a long list. (laughs) Well, we are adventurers, and we are... Our satchels are filled with treasures and gold. Ah, then you need nothing from me. Your satchels are full. (laughs) Do you have any cigarettes? Cigarettes. Let me check. (laughs) No, but I do have a healing pendant and a portable hole. (laughs) Yes, yes. The portable hole is $40, same as downtown. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm kind of at a loss. I don't really... I'm not really in a shopping mood, but... (laughs) Uh, Spencer, is there, is there anything in our inventory that we lack that this, uh, that this uh, shopkeeper might give us? Um, well, that depends on what you want, you know? Mm. <laughs> Just, well, if you have anything weird, you could ask him about it. You could ask questions. A shopkeeper, uh, uh, what, what, what do you give the gnome barbarian that has everything? Uh, <laughs> might I say that bull strength is on sale this week? <laughs> <laughs> How much is the bull strength? Three for 49. <laughs> Three for 49? I can get two for 50 downtown. Oh, that's bull. (laughs) I'm selling bull strength. (laughs) What does the... Oh, I do have smoke sticks. Did you come seeking cigarettes? I love cigarettes. I have smoke sticks. I think they're similar. Okay. Uh, uh, Do do you have menthol? Uh, I don't, but I could give you some ice. (laughs) Suck on some ice and then have a... uh, Spencer, what do smoke sticks do? Smoke sticks release an acrid smoke that creates a smoke screen for a short period of time, obscuring vision. Cigarettes. (laughs) (laughs) Yet you may not take them to the land of Calabasas. (laughs) 
I'll take a carton of smoke sticks. A carton of smoke sticks for you. And with that, I throw in a f- free illusion. A free illusion? A free illusion. What does that mean, Spencer? I won't know until it happens. Uh, Tell me what you see. Wait, wait, wait. It's not like Dove from Lit Candle? Is it one of those kind of crappy things? Uh, you've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> wait. That was your portable hole? Yes, of course. <laughs> What's a portable hole? <laughs> Same as downtown, $40. <laughs> uh, I, I want to show uh, Olaf the, uh, the shards, if you know what I mean, and uh, see if he's, if he's heard any tell of uh, their origins or uh, uh, any rumors about them. Take a look at these magic shards, Olaf. <laughs> Oh, the magic shards. You bring these to me? Well, I'm not giving them to you. I'm showing them to you. I, what maybe, are they shards of? Uh, something, uh, some force of power. I, I don't really know. What are the shards of, Spencer? The shards. Olaf doesn't know much about the shards, but he knows their value is beyond compare. He would offer to buy them, although he knows there's no price that you'd willingly take for such a valuable artifact. I will buy those from you. <laughs> Name your price. <laughs> I, don't think, uh, I don't think there's any price for which we'd part with them. But there has to be a reason that this, this man has come across our path. I believe that the, everything is fated to be Sharpie. Jesus. All right. I mean... <laughs> uh, all right, well, I mean, I, I... I mean, come up with a price. You're going to get caught with a shitload of shards that you can't get rid of. <laughs> how, uh, Spencer, how many shards do we need to have a full set? Uh, you don't know. There's no way of knowing. We have, we have two, and Sharpie's dad, Mango, has one in his stomach right now. Yeah, and a few, I think. Can, we, can we follow uh, Mango around until he poops and go through it and find one of them? <laughs> you could potentially do that. He's standing in the foreground. Oh. Hi. Okay, you're, go. you're going to need a portable hole for that. <laughs> <laughs> What's the portable hole? Portable holes are these, these fabric circles. So like if you took this and cut it into a circle, like a circle of fabric, you throw it on the ground and it becomes a real hole, like a 10-foot pit or something. That you could hide in? Yeah, and then you could pick it up. So you could you know, drop your friend down there and pick it up and take him and put him in a wall and he'll like, fall And how tall is Olaf? Olaf would be about four, four feet tall. I thought Olaf was big. Olaf is a halfling. Halflings are very small. Uh, so two halflings is worth... <laughs> Depends on where your exchange it's rates two are. Ma- two men and a halfling. <laughs> How much for the portable hole? It's, is it really, it's 50, uh, 50, what, gold pieces? What is it? $40, same as downtown. <laughs> <laughs> Yet I will take one shard of glass for your whole portable hole. I don't, I don't want to no, part, yeah, part got, with the shards, We've got to hang on to the shards. What, what are so important about these shards? We don't know. <laughs> and yet you want to hang on to them. Yes. Yeah, I mean... Why do you want them so bad? I haven't any in my uh, wagon. (laughs) What if someone else were to ask me for a shard and I had no shards? (laughs) And yet I have an overstock of portable holes. (laughs) Should should we take uh, this guy, Olaf? He he has this great inventory of stuff. Should we take him along with us down the road in case we need something? Or is there something, Spencer, that we need to get off of uh, Olaf here? Well, I mean, I can't tell you. I'm just like a disembodied voice that describes things around you. <laughs> However, I like will Like a wife. Say... <laughs> I wish, I wish. I will say that you hear an off, off-kilter sound. It seems like it's coming from the west. It sounds like vicious clacking or maybe slithering. You don't even know what. I summon a squirrel. <laughs> you summon a squirrel. S- squirrel, run off and... F- Investigate that sound. Uh, Ryan, I get to summon small animals once a day. There's only one way to summon a squirrel, and you know the song, Jeff. (laughs) The squirrel song. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. (laughs) Climbing trees, spreading disease. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrels. Hiding nuts and fuzzy butts. Ryan and I have been on the road a long time. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get that Wait, up o- too. Olaf, Olaf, do, do, I, do I smell gravy over there? Olaf, do I smell gravy? Of course you do. That's from the gravy pillow. <laughs> it's an invention of mine. Isn't there a song about that? It's soft. I don't believe so. <laughs> <laughs> Gra- <laughs> gravy. No, no. <laughs> 
No, I forget it. <laughs> I, 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 oh, well, we heard the sound from the west, so let's wait. Oh, yeah, so I, I sent the squirrel off to go investigate the, the, uh, the sound. You send the squirrel off. You wait for what seems like enough time. But the squirrel... <laughs> But the squirrel does we not have. return. The squirrel does not return? It does not return. The, the, Where's the, my dad? Is he still visible? He's, yeah, he's, hey guys. I'm gonna, <laughs> I wanna go talk to my dad. Hey, uh, hey son, is that, does that guy have good deals? Dad, uh, eat shards much? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand, like, talk to me about that. Listen, alarming. You need to internalize the power before you can have mastery over it. That's just, you know, gravity. Sharpie. Barbarians should, aren't well knowledged. Should, should, we, should we each eat a shard? <laughs> Sounds like it. We, we could eat, eat half of one now, and if, we, if we're feeling it later. Then... I think it, like, you're supposed to wait like 45 minutes. Yeah. We'll, yeah, have some orange juice. Yeah, does Olaf have orange juice? I, 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 I can't. I was, I was in a blackout drunk when we played, and it was a month ago, but, but did, I, did, I, did I think that eating a shard was a good idea? No, I don't think you did. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, because my because my because my dad just doesn't understand magic. No, he's he yeah. He's well, like, look, he's, look, barbarians don't know stuff. Like fa- like father like son. I would say maybe you eat it. Or, or you say no, it's no, a no. bad it's, idea. It's, it's, something, it's something a dumb person does with a shard. It's a it's a it's it's bush league. Um, uh, so I, I I gotta say I, I feel like I really wasted that squirrel. You did. <laughs> the squirrel will come back, Jeff. Um, well, uh, okay, I'm gonna summon my, well, I don't summon him, he's on my arm, Avenger, my hawk, who oh. I f- forgot for several months. <laughs> Avenger gives out a weak cry as if it hasn't been fed in several months. <laughs> <laughs> Avenger, go get the squirrel! <laughs> Avenger flies off your arm and circles the sky far away. It returns. Avenger, what see you? It gives you a look that says, I didn't see a squirrel, but there's something coming. Go on. (laughs) I'd be able to uh, describe it better if I weren't just a a level three familiar. Mm. I'm not smart. (laughs) Don't sell yourself short. Let let me tell you something. (laughs) It, It seemed to shift and change position as it approached, as if I couldn't quite make out where it was. Well, see, that's important information. You're you're a good hawk. You know what? <laughs> Sharpie, I got a feeling. Did, 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 you already bought the portable hole, right? Uh, I, no, because no, he's only selling it yet. for a shard. Is I, I, I want. I, you I won't give up one shard for the hole. He 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 said Wait. it was forty bucks, and then he said it was a shard. I'm not giving up a shard for a no. hole. I'll give I'll give you three gold pieces for a portable hole. All right. <laughs> All right, so I got smoke sticks and a portable hole now in my inventory. Correct? Let's buy two of them and put one in the other. I'm not selling two. <laughs> You'd be all Dan Harmon about it. <laughs> so, <coughs> the portable hole, about six quirky characters. Olaf, <laughs> Olaf, is there, is there anything else in your uh, in your in your wares that we might be interested? In? Oh, not me. I have so much stuff. I have quails, feathers, and bag of tricks. Elf boots. <laughs> uh, did I mention the portable hole? <laughs> what's, a, what's a portable hole? <laughs> <laughs> I have everything you uh, could possibly want. Bowl strength, I mentioned that. Dad, what's I coming from the I can cure moderate wounds. Not severe wounds, but moderate wounds. <laughs> I've already got that. You have? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not up on the game. <laughs> I asked my dad what, what's, what's happening to the West. He motions a figure towards you and then puts his ear to the ground. Then what? Soon, he raises his head from the ground and growls something you haven't heard in quite a while. Displacer beasts. <laughs> Displacer beast! Displacer beast? Oh yes, displacer beasts. Those fearsome creatures. You see, you can't determine where they truly are, only where you think they may be. For their shifting appearance can move them around almost randomly, as if by some powerful illusion. Hmm. <laughs> let's, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, let's... Let, I, I, Olaf, how would you like to head east in your wagon? <laughs> <laughs> We head east. Bye, Dad! Displacer beasts! 
uh, out of our league. He says, I always knew you were a quitter, but don't be, don't be you know, down on yourself because you'll always be that way. Bye. <laughs> He fucks off to the west. Wait. He fucks off to the west? He does. <laughs> we, we, we officially have the title of this podcast. <laughs> Was that your dad that just left? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's his dad. very sad. Yeah. They, they, I, have a, they have a weird relationship. I, I, your dad just fucked off to the west. But that's in the direction of the displacer beast. Right? Yeah, he's yeah, going to fight him. Yeah, we should go with him. It's your dad, Sharpie. Olaf, can you turn the wagon around? Turn the wagon around? He used to hit me with a belt. <laughs> Let me check to see if I have one of those. <laughs> I have no belt to hit you with. I don't want to get hit anymore. I want his approval. That's what happens when you hit a kid. He thinks it's his fault, and he's forever unfillable, you know? Like a portable hole. I would think you would understand, hole monger. <laughs> does that term offend no, you? Holes are just a small part of my stock. <laughs> are we are we headed west now? Let's all go west and follow your father and join him in battle. You know. You want to ride from me? Yeah. All right. Hop on front. I could use a little nap. Why don't you drive? <laughs> All right. Spurred on by my b hatred and love of my father, I, I take it out on the, on the, on the team of horses. <laughs> Shit rolls downhill. Yeah! The cycle of abuse continues. <laughs> the, the, what, the what does? The cycle of abuse. <laughs> <laughs> did, did he roll the die before he said that? Uh, sorry. 17. <laughs> That's a strong abuse right there. <laughs> I, I uh, grabbed the reins and, uh, and uh, is it a goat? What, what, what's this uh, cart being led There's by? There's one goat and one horse. One goat and one horse? I, 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 uh, I whip them on and we catch up to Sharpie. Or to Mango, rather. You catch up to Mango. You seem to be confused. No, I don't. That's stupid. <laughs> you, you arrive on the scene. You see Mango lying on the floor in a pool of blood. He's surrounded by four displacer beasts. Dad! He's unresponsive. Ray of Frost! <laughs> it's not even my most powerful spell, it's just my trademark, you know? You hit the displacer beast. He takes, uh. I'm sorry, you guys. He takes two damage. God damn it, I suck. Olaf, how much for the bull strength? I'm still sleeping. <laughs> I, I wake Olaf. You wake Olaf. Olaf, how <gasps> much for strength of bull? <sighs> Again, one shard. One shard? You with the shards. I want a shard. I haven't got a shard. <laughs> can, I, can I spare a shard, Sen uh, Spencer, or is that a bad idea? I'm not going to give you advice there. No. You can do what you want, man. Okay, I go into a, uh, I, I go into a, a, a berserker rage and a... And a no, what's my... A flaming sword? Yeah, you have a flaming sword. Okay, I do a flaming sword attack on the displacer beasts. Do you do a rage first? Yeah, I go into rage okay. and... Yeah, a rage Flying first. into a rage and unsheathing <laughs> your sword. <laughs> You fling yourself at the wild displacer beast. You, you seem to strike a hit. But the displacer beast, at the last second, is thin air. Shit. He's five foot to the left of where you thought he was. Where's the squirrel? <laughs> Olaf, my father needs healing. He's, he's a formidable fighter. If he's healed, he'll, he'll be able to help us good. Ah! Ah! I have a healing pendant. Right here. How much is it? It's a shard. <laughs> you know how much it is. Don't ask me anymore. <laughs> My entire wagon is yours for a Olaf, shard. Olaf, don't you see? If you don't help us right now, this displacer beast could kill all of us. We need, we need to work together as a team right now. I don't think the beast is after me, is it? It, it might very well be. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Let me know when I can cast a spell. Uh, I'm so, okay. The displacer beasts whip their dangerous shoulder-mounted tentacles towards you. They have they have tentacles. They're coming out of their shoulders. <laughs> if you were on my Tumblr, you guys would know this. I, by I, now. Sorry, oh, it, it's a, oh, I am. It's the thing. It looks like Slammer, but it's got it's got tentacles, right? Yeah. yeah it's Slammer with tentacles. It looks like Slammer with tentacles. Oh wait, that's a Roper. That's no, yeah. different. Displacer beasts look like felines. Panthers right? yeah. with tentacles out of. Their I remember shoulders. those from oh, twelfth, yeah. uh, eighth grade, and twelfth grade. <laughs> Where was I? Prom. The displacer beast pounce. Three of them don't hit you somehow. The fourth <laughs> rakes you with a tentacle, uh, Quark. Oh, me? Yeah, you. Okay. Y- uh. you, you attacked at one. All right. It does eight damage to you. Uh-oh, is that bad? That's not great. <laughs> Wait, do, don't I have a uh, heal moderate wounds? Um, I don't think No, because you didn't deal for it. <laughs> I have one. No, I thought I did, no? No, you didn't give I me really a shot. Ryan, right? shut the fuck up. <laughs> It'd be in your inventory. Yeah, I'm looking for it. I thought I had. That. I don't think you do, man. Okay. I mean, if you do, it's fine. But 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 but, but Olaf has. Uh, That's he, true. He I'm not giving you one after the way you just spoke to me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to smoke a smoke stick? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a shower. I'll give you a a, a healing. Uh, what was it? A healing pendant for free. For free? Yes, for free. That's very nice of you. I take the healing pendant. You take the healing pendant. And I put it on. You put it on. It feels like it'll heal you. Does it work? You, you wait for it. It's booting up. Oh, okay. No, okay, hold up. Takes a while? Yeah, it does. You need to put on these elf boots as well. <laughs> That's a- you gain back eight health. You're oh, at full health. I'm at full health. The elf boots. Now you can cast the spell. It's your turn. Summon Monster 2. All right. Give me one second. Summon Monster 2. You can pick a monster from which to summon. Uh, Let's see. Celestial Giant B. Celestial Giant Bombardier Beetle. Celestial Riding Dog. Celestial Eagle. Or Eagle. Lemure. That's a devil. Fiendish Squid. Fiendish Wolf. Fiendish fiendish Monstrous Centipede. Fiendish, Fiendish Monstrous Spider. Fiendish Monstrous Scorpion. Fiendish Shark. Fiendish Snake. I say squid squids are I'm gonna go with the B. Hey, fuck you guys just wanted to watch a squid die. That's all you wanted to Like I this is my life. You summon a celestial bee. It glows with the presence of the other world. It awaits your command. Harold! <laughs> Make honey of those displacer beasts. It's bee talk. It I, look- mean, I mean attack them. Oh, oh, okay. That's what it says. It goes and attacks uh, one of the displacer beasts. It stings it wickedly with its sting. It hits, but does it really? The, tele- the, the displacer beast is struck by the sting. It deals six damage. It's in the way that you use Spencer, can I, can, I go, can, can I attack Flaming Sword on, on one of the others? Yeah, you can attack. Okay, me. Flaming Sword attack! On the different one? <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, you hit. It does two damage. God damn it. Oh, I didn't do fire damage. It does six damage. Oh! <laughs> Why don't you know? Olaf has a gun. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Olaf. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Olaf. What? Are you, are you holding a gun? I don't know. Am I? I guess. <laughs> yeah. Roll, throw a dice. What? You have a gun. I have Why a gun. Why does he have yeah. a gun? Why are you sitting there like an asshole? <laughs> I don't know if you're keeping score, but we got our asses kicked back there, man. I didn't see guns seem too normal. I guess I have a gun. Yeah. Use a gun. Can I use a gun? You do. You have a, a shoot gun from an alternate a plane. A shoot gun. A shoot gun. <laughs> well, all guns are shoot guns. Yes, of course so they are. You gotta be childish about it. It's a, like a poop toilet. It is like a poop toilet. You'll find one of those later. Uh, should we let Olaf use the gun or should we take it from him? You can try either. Olaf? Yes. I like your style. I'm fond of you as well. (laughs) 
Take that gun out and uh, try your luck with the uh, displacer beasts. The slimy squid-like thing? The panther tentacles. Whatever. <laughs> Where's the best place to shoot it? Um, right between the tentacles. <laughs> between the tentacles. So the head? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! Oh. Right between the tentacles. <laughs> oh, wait. It hits! Yeah. <laughs> it's just a, a parachute comes out. It deals 13 damage. Oh. Oh. Okay. I killed that motherfucker! One of the beasts is slain. Oh. 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 D and damn! Dungeon snap. <laughs> That's a throwback. How many more beasts are alive? Two. One's already hurt, right? Yeah. All right. I'm out of bullets for my shoot gun. <laughs> Is that true? It'll take him one turn to reload. Yeah, because it's not called shoots gun. <laughs> what, what does my mysterious emerald dagger do? You don't even know, man. It's so mysterious. <laughs> I can't wait to find out. Sharpie, you're up. Scroll of... Oh, no, wait. <laughs> I have a bomb. You have a bomb. <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. I forgot. I have a bomb. A bomb? A, a bomb? Yes, right here. A, a bomb? bomb? A I think bomb. Had, I think you had a, you had a, a bomb. Bone. No. <laughs> I have a bomb. <laughs> what kind of bomb is it? It's a, a, a plus six. A plus six. <laughs> I guess. Doesn't your character wear a turban? Isn't this getting a little... Oh, I didn't even realize. I'm sorry, you guys. That's Freudian. But and you George know Lucas? I can, uh, I can throw it 40 feet, apparently. He has red hair, though. How it's far away hair. are the... Uh... I don't have red hair. I have a red mustache. Get your shit straight. <laughs> How far away are the displacer beasts? They're about... Uh, no, they're, they're right up to you. They're hitting you. So, so That's you, within you, 40 feet. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but I can use my bomb. Yeah, but the bomb will go right over him. Oh, and you know what? I didn't see this. It sometimes blasts multiple enemies. Oh, <laughs> throw the bomb! Uh, <laughs> I could throw it for a shard. <laughs> if I give you a shard, will you throw the bomb? Yes. I give Olaf a shard. You give Olaf the shard. <laughs> I'm going to kill Why him. Why is everyone I'm, against I'm, that? <laughs> <laughs> I just want one fucking shard. I get, I'll give you a shard if, if you promise to throw the bomb and kill these beasts. I will. Is All there right. more than one beast? There's, there's two beasts left. And will a bomb take care of them? You, 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 they'll hurt. It'll hurt. It'll hurt? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to waste my bomb. You have multiple bombs, I should oh, say. No, I don't think so. You, not you, according to this. I, I left the S out. Bombs. Oh, you did? Bombs. Oh, are you sure it's just not one enemy then? No. <laughs> Maybe you misplaced your S. Oh. <laughs> burning hands! You cast burning hands. Oh, what Jesus. level are you guys at? It does six damage. Fire damage. So how, how, how close are these guys to being dead? You don't know. They, they look burnt. <laughs> don't give them your shard, man. I, I, I'm not going to give them the shard. Well, I'm... Uh, they're not giants, are they? They're not, they're not goblins. I, I, I've already gone into a rage, haven't I? Yeah. What, what about power attack? You could power attack. That gonna, makes your attack less accurate and you know more what, dangerous. You know what? I, I'm going to take out the mysterious emerald dagger and see what that thing does. You unsheath the mysterious emerald dagger. Would it you like to wear my chain shirt? I just noticed <laughs> I have a chain shirt. Would you like that? It would go nice with the elf boots, too. <laughs> I put on the chain shirt and the elf boots and take out my emerald dagger. You do those things. As it was written. So it shall be. In the middle of a fight, it's like a Katy Perry concert. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, speaking of which. Oh, you get struck with a tentacle, Sharpie. Oh. You take 11 damage. Oh, oh snap. Yeah, he's writing it down with a big smile on his face. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt. I did, he, he, he has healed moderate wounds, too. That's true. Scorching Ray? Scorching Ray! It's the first time I've used it. Okay. <laughs> Waving your hands in a magical manner, you loose several bolts of Scorching Rays. 
You, oh, oh shit, you guys, I'm terrible. <laughs> you strike the displacer beast right in the face with a scorching ray. It deals. Uh, I can't count. <laughs> 12 fire damage. Ooh. He's on the ropes. Mysterious Emerald Dagger! Plunging the mysterious Emerald Dagger into the heart of the Displacer Beast, it glows with a green bright light. You see it shatter into pieces, and next to it, the real Displacer Beast emerges. Oh. It can no longer use its ability. Ah. Can't count? Can't count? What? <laughs> yeah. Does Olaf have any more bullets in his shoot gun? He does. I do? Yeah. Shoot, Olaf, shoot! I've been waiting to see where... You mean my plus nine attack bonus? Is that what that means? That's, the, yeah, that's your attack roll. So I have eight more shots? No, okay. You just have infinite ammo. What? You have ammo. Yeah, but it says I out. can sometimes blast multiple enemies. Yeah, that's the bomb. Do oh, you know, that's my shoot that's gun. That's the shoot gun. My mistake. Okay, yeah. Do you want to shoot it against multiple enemies? I'm so confused. Sometimes? I just want to get the fuck out of my wagon. <laughs> This is not my problem. These guys came up to me. <laughs> <laughs> I got my shard. That's all I wanted. I don't know what the fuck I want to do. I'm so confused. There's so many numbers and you can't count. <laughs> to 12. Uh, use your shoot gun against multiple enemies. Okay. I'm using my shoot gun. Shoot gun! Shoot gun! Oh, shoot gun! Shoot gun! <laughs> The, the shotgun blast fires through one of the displacer beasts, but it was really somewhere else. Oh, it strikes classic. into the deactivated displacer beast, dealing seven damage. The displacer beast falls slain. Ah! Are we done? There's one, one left. One God more. damn one these more. things. I used to... Sorry, you guys. It's like whack-a-mole. <laughs> when did my shoot gun turn into a shotgun? It, it shotgun shoots. Can, can, can we throw our little uh, portable hole and then trap it in the hole? Can you, we? Uh, you could try that. Who's got the portable hole? But it's only four feet deep, isn't it? That's no. It's like ten. No, you. You're you four said, feet. No, you. I said you're. It's four ten feet. feet tall. How tall are the beast? Uh, they're probably about three foot at the shoulder. That comes in handy, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm taller than this beast by about a foot. You're not as long as it, though. It's a three foot beast. It's, it's three, three feet, feet tall. tall. It's like a so panther. Like a it's like a big panther. Lion, and take your head off, man. It's a panther. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> Would speak with animals work with a uh, with a displacer beast? You could try. I speak to the displacer beast. <laughs> what, what do you speak what do you, to? What do you it? think it's gonna say? Uh, well, watch this. <laughs> hey, uh, you're kind of being a dick. <laughs> you killed my parents just now. It flails at you with a tentacle, but misses. <laughs> okay. Wow. That, that, that could have gone worse. Summon swarm! You summon a swarm. It can be of uh, bees or bats. Squids. <laughs> bees. I love bees. Or spiders. Okay. You Spi summon a swarm of bees. A swarm of bees now exists. <laughs> swarm! All right, you swarm the final displacer beast. It seems to be annoyed and stung, but it doesn't seem to be taking very much damage. Shit, it man. is rather distracted and bothered. It seems to no longer regard you over the pain of its stings. I loosen the mayo lid. <laughs> Somebody pop it open. <laughs> uh, I, I throw knives. You throw knives. How many? Well, just one. You throw just one knife. Right. You strike the displacer beast. It teleports away. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you can still speak with animals, though. Oh, uh, <laughs> look, I'm sorry about the you're being a dick thing. And uh, sorry about your parents. Uh, why don't we... Uh, why, why don't we uh, smoke some of these... Uh, sm smoke sticks. And I throw some smoke sticks around it. It regards the smoke sticks. They emit a plume of smoke around the displacer beast. You can no longer see it. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Way to go, Jeff. <laughs> it's like going up to Osama bin Laden and just putting body armor on him. <laughs> Can we get the Fellowship of the Nerds back up here to help oh, us out? I have invisibility. Invisibility? Yes. Okay. How does that help? You could not get attacked. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Good luck. Can I put that on my wagon and my goat and my horse Wait, as well? No, it's a potion. You just drink it and turn it into... Spencer, what, what is weapon focus sword? It means you're slightly better than the average person with a sword. Uh, but I've already used my sword, haven't I? Well, you can use it more. Oh, it doesn't it my, get used up. Is it my turn? Uh, sure, yeah. All right. I attack, I attack with my sword. Sword attack. Sword attack. <laughs> <laughs> You roll a critical hit. I do. Sorry, you guys. I can't do math. I'm terrible at That's everything. One you just threw. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. That's why you're not at the Genius Bar. 15 damage. Yeah, no, I'm not. That's true. I count boxes. 15 damage. But he's still alive. Is he? I don't know. I'm, I'm building tension. I examined the, I, I examined the wounded... He doesn't appear slain, but now he is. <laughs> you broke the tension too early, Just Jeff. to make sure, I throw my climbing kit. <laughs> <laughs> Into the air like a graduate? Yes. <laughs> Pythons and ropes spill everywhere. <laughs> Hooray! Or pitons, we huh? freeze frame uh, <laughs> credits roll on this uh, segment. All right, uh, is there any treasure to be had from the from no, these slain beasts? No, no treasure. They, they were just blocking our way somewhere. They were gonna murder you guys. So now I my have dad, a, my I dad. Have a shard, huh? I have a shard now. Oh, and you have a portable hole. No, no, that, that, I was joking about the shard thing. You didn't give them a shard, huh? You didn't give me the you shard. You never gave me the portable hole. Do I have anything left in my shoot gun? Uh, you do. <laughs> Let's have the shard, motherfucker. I <laughs> uncanny dodge. Uncanny dodge. I dodge his bullets. That's not even in he there. Uncanny dodge. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> the all new 2013 uncanny dodge. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your father's uncanny dodge. I cast charm person on Olaf. Oh, it works. Oh, right, well, let me give him a will save. Sorry. Yeah, it works. Let's 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 have that uh, let's have that stick, pal. You now regard him as a trusted friend and ally. You'd do very much to please him. Oh, not that. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 heal my dad, whatever it takes, please. Well, how about another healing pendant? I have one left. You're still wearing that healing pendant, Jeff. Oh, I I I, I give the healing pendant uh, from me t uh, to Sharpie. He, has, he receives it. I give it to my dad. He cannot receive it, for he's unconscious. I take it and get the hell out. <laughs> I, you're, you're charmed. You don't want to do that. Oh, I'm not. I'm not yeah, you're I can, under, I can put it on my dad, right? Yeah, no, but you can't give but it to him. But he's dead. Like, well, I give, yeah, I give, yeah, you it, put it, give on. it to him the way you give a, uh, a, a fire hydrant wreath to a fire hydrant. Oh, what, I would happen, what would happen if he made a mistake and he didn't put it on his dad and he put it on the, the serpent? Everything would have exploded. That's not even a joke. <laughs> you place the necklace around your father's, uh, you know, neck. That's where it goes. I, 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 start, I, start, I start giving him CPR so that when the pendant heals him, I get the credit. You, <laughs> you see the blood slowly seeping back into his body. His I take, a, I take a bunch of pictures and make a gif that makes it look like he's fucking his dad. <laughs> And post it on Tumblr. It gets like 3,000 reblogs or something. <laughs> uh, soon he will be healed. <laughs> Time passes. He is healed. <laughs> oh, thank, thank God. Dad. <sighs> hey, hey, son, where'd you come from? Uh, I was drawn by your, your, your horrible emotional abuse. Come to take a run at your own man, aren't you? Well, no. that's very brave. No, no. You, you dummy. I love you. I came to save you from those displacer beasts. That's very touching. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be laughing. 
Well, save me you did, son. Save me you did. This is twice you've saved me. And the first was from myself. Because he was raging, remember? Right, right. It's funny. I thought you were talking about your alcoholism. Oh, that too. <laughs> Three times. Three times, right. <laughs> or what, that, that after school special where I poured it down the drain. Can I tell uh, you guys something? Please. I don't know why I ate that shard. It just seemed cool. I wanted you guys to like me. <laughs> Do we have any Ipecac or is it... What? Hole in the stomach. Ooh! Take the, the portable, take the portable hole? hole and throw it onto his stomach and get the shard out. <laughs> That's stupid, isn't it? That it is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> That, that was from the audience. That was from portable the audience. Portable hole can only be you placed can't just on a do flat that surface. Shit. Tell them what a portable hole is about. A portable hole is a circle of fabric about three to four. I already explained what a portable hole is. <laughs> can't just be throwing it on people and taking shit out of them. <laughs> Dad, you gotta trust me. These shards need to be uh, t uh, uh, dealt with, with 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 care under magical supervision. You are a man of barbarism. I am a man of magic. I know you never approved of it, but, but maybe it was fate that I would come back into your life now when you've encountered these things. Like, you, you know, uh, just give me your shard when you poop it out. <laughs> summon squirrels! <laughs> Olaf summons a horde of squirrels. I just saw that. <laughs> squirrels, squirrels, as, squirrels! As a gnome, you're very jealous of his ability to summon multiple squirrels at once. So now we're surrounded by squirrels? Yeah. Squirrel, doom, 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 doom. <laughs> you'll be a woman <laughs> soon. We have to come up with a way to conclude this, this chapter here. Well, I, I feel like we, we have to get the shard out of your father's stomach, right? Just then, you hear an intense humming sound. It sounds like it's coming from above. It gets louder and louder, and then be, it's pierced by a deafening, cracking crescendo. You look up and see a huge rift opening in the morning sky. A red scar in the otherwise blue expanse, and black shapes begin flooding out of it. These dark, metallic, sleek ships float on air as easily as if it were sea and sail forward without need for sails. The humming subsides, but you can hear a distinct popping sound. Black cylinders rain down from the ships, plummeting to earth with heavy crashes and thuds. The fleet of ships sails swiftly away. Mango's face grows serious. You can hear a far-off voice saying, Soon it will all be over! That's Admiral Darkstar. Admiral Darkstar. I recognize that voice anyway, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, uh, I hit rewind so I can hear that voice again. Say that. Pick something else for me to say. That wasn't very clever. I, uh, I summon better catchphrase. Soon the Darkstar will dawn and all will be led to ruination. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. That's, a good, that's a good cliffhanger. Wow. Wait. All right. Let's hear for Spencer, everybody, our dungeon master. Yeah. Well, look, Ryan, thank, thank, thank you helping. so much for letting me be a part of that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get the man who has everything? You know, it was really yeah nice. I, uh, I, I, we couldn't have done it without you because you ha you had that big... I think uh, you did do it without me, actually. No, no, we, 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 we used a lot of stuff off your cart. You used your shoot gun. I didn't even see half that stuff till you know, halfway through. I I've, I've had this, uh, these character sheets for months. I've never really looked at them. I have no idea. <laughs> or asked me anything about any part of the game ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, you two don't talk outside of the show? <laughs> We have a whole tour, Spencer. I'm, I'm Are you going on tour? Yeah, I'm going on tour. Oh, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Amazingly, this is a draw of the show. Yeah, it is. And our, our, our poster... So you don't really need them. <laughs> well, I do nap for now. Oh. I, I think we're, uh, we're making... Uh, part of our merchandise, is we're gonna make our, our tour poster is going to be a D&D &D map of all the places that we're going across the country. That's great. Awesome. Yeah. And there's a, uh, I think there's a, there's a button... That says like it's an I love Spencer, but uh, it's instead of a heart, it's a it's a twenty sided die. Uh, that's awesome. Then it doesn't make sense, does it? No. <laughs> I, 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 I die, die I die Spencer. Spencer. <laughs> I roll Spencer. Which is I random. random that's chance. what his uncle said to him before he died. Die it, he's gonna see it and he's gonna fucking flip. 
Ryan, do you have any advice for us before we embark on this journey? Oh, it's a long trip. You could teach uh, Spencer to count on that trip. That would be nice. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be fun for you, Dan. It's going to be a lot of fun. Really? Yeah. Did you hear what Patton was saying? No. He was, well, he was dire. It was. Uh, well, he play, He plays different places than you're going to play. Yeah, uh, maybe. Sure yeah. Really? And you got friends. You're with friends. He probably gigs alone, right? Yeah, well, no. He was with uh, Maria Bamford and, and and I don't know Brian Pusain and uh, uh, Gallagher. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the movie. Uh, Gallagher Fernakis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let's uh, let's. Where's your first date? Uh, Phoenix on the 10th that'll be great good stuff yeah. we'll have fun <laughs> and we're, a calming influence well, we're gonna be uh, up, in the, uh, up in your neck of the woods up in Washington look me up <laughs> are you where are you playing up there uh, wh- wh- what, where are we gonna be I don't know slap slappies you, sla- slap, it, slap this is important stuff to find out before you actually take off in the bus <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I, I'm gonna come up and join you but we're gonna be up like in Portland and somewhere up there I don't know Portland, beautiful. Yeah. Seattle's <laughs> slutty little sister city. How do we end the show, Jeff? Um, I think I think you and Ryan rap. No, 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 no. no, no. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I'd like to see. I'd like to see a bit of ma- ra- a rap mixed in with a bit of retarded Elvis to end the show. Uh, that, uh, okay. Uh, now there's a couple there's a couple tracks that uh, Ryan Elder, our musical director, has given us. We haven't done this one. It says uh, it says smooth with well, smooth jazz. Let's try a couple of these and see what we got here. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Harmon Town. Harmon Town. Wait, yeah, no, 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 no. What about this one? We have, we have, we have funky horns, too. Thanks for coming. And don't forget to brush your teeth. <laughs> Dental safety is the key to happy. Brush your teeth. Don't let them get crappy. Eat apples and other kinds of fruit. I don't give a who. <laughs> Floss daily or you'll get cavities. Fuck your mama till she falls to her knees. Let's thank Eric Idle, everybody, oh, for Eric coming Idle. out. <laughs> Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt. <laughs> Spencer. Oh, Ryan Stiles, everybody. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We're going to miss you all. We're going to be gone for a month. And when we come back, I want to see all of you here to welcome us back home, please. And thank you guys in the, in the back for, you know, that couldn't have been fun standing back there. Thank you for being loyal Armenians back there. Uh, fuck your mama gonna fuck your mama good. Yeah. Fuck your mama like she was a piece of wood. Fuck your mama like a rock and like a dirt. I fuck your mama cause I don't like to flirt. I fuck your mama. Fuck her good and hard. Fuck your mama like a magic crystal shard. Fuck your mama like a third level magic user. Fuck your mama cause she is a heroin abuser. That was off meter. Doesn't mean your mama doesn't deserve my wiener. Fuck your mama, but I'm a dick inside her mouth. East, North, west, north, south, 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 south. 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 Fuck your mama like salt and pepper. <laughs> Fuck your mama. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank uh, you, everybody, for coming. Uh, sorry about my sobriety. Sorry about your. Uh, sorry about everything. And uh, we'll see you back in LA. We're going to try to put together a big show, a really big show, when we come back. Like a like a like a major one. Uh, uh, you guys have been fantastic for uh, over a year, and now we're going to go out and see. Uh, how bad it gets. Good night. <laughs>